Lincoln School, what's up? Another workout video, um, ready to roll. Hopefully you guys are, are getting stronger. Hopefully you guys are getting a little bit more exercise than you were uh, before. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off this workout with some neck rolls. So get some neck rolls in, okay? Remember I said we're gonna keep moving a little faster than we have been, not with our neck rolls, but with the entire videos. You know, try to get a little bit of a better workout. Let's switch up and go the other way. A little bit of a better workout in a little bit less time. So you don't have to really listen to Mr. Jones talk so much. You know, all I hear, Mr. Jones, you talk so much. All you do is talk, Mr. Jones. You're a bad dancer. Oh, a bad dancer? Are you kidding me? Who's better than me? That dancer. Yeah. Woo. Could dance all day. Enough dance. Let's get our arms out. Shoulder rolls. Okay. Our arm circles, I should say, here. Let's get a little bit bigger, nice and slow. Get our shoulders warmed up. And let's get big circles all the way around. And relax, arms down. Good, arms out again. Let's go backwards now. Go the other way. Small circles, let's get a little bit bigger. And all the way around, big circles, loosen up those shoulders. Remember our shoulders are the tops of our arms. Uh, really important when we do push-ups, right? that we have strong shoulders that'll help us do more push-ups. Okay, um, jumping jack time. So make sure you have a nice area to, to work out, right? Make sure you have your water bottle and make sure that your area is clear so that you're safe. All right, jumping jacks. Let's do 25 like we always do. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And relax. Nice job, everybody. So remember, these stretches are called dynamic stretches because we're moving while we loosen up our body and get ready for some strength exercises in just a minute. Uh, let's get into some trunk twists, okay? So a lot of times people will call this your trunk or your belly and your lower back. Remember trunk twists, we're just turning side to side. Make sure your feet are planted. A lot of the times I see some videos uh, of you guys working out or I see you guys working out on camera, you know, through the live stream videos. And, and, and your feet, you know, you're moving your feet a lot. What I want you to do is make sure your feet are planted into the ground and they're not going to move, okay? That's a, that's a good base. So, like, your base is, like, your legs. And you want your feet to, like, dig into the ground, you know, where, you, where you're not going to move. So keep your feet still and your legs strong. And let's rotate our body left and right. Good. This is good for sit-ups, good for our core or our abdominal muscles, which are right in our stomach there. Those are our muscles in our stomach. So let's just work out just a little bit more. Keep doing these trunk twists and relax. Excellent. Last dynamic stretch we're going to do is hamstring scoops. Okay, sounds funny, right? Hamstring scoops. Our hamstring is the top part of the back of our leg. So if you're looking at my leg here, it's the back part of the leg, okay? Hamstring scoops, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your toe in the air, okay? Foot on the ground, heel on the ground, toe up in the air. And you're just gonna put your hands back and scoop forward. Switch, scoop forward. Good, hamstring scoops. This is a good workout for our legs to get them loose for when we do squats. Oh, Mr. Jones, we're doing squats again. Oh yeah, we're doing squats. 
Squats are a great exercise to keep our legs strong. So when we do these hamstring scoops, we're warming up our legs for our squats. Good, let's do two more. And we can relax. Good. Okay, like I said, we're doing squats. So make sure you have some space and we're gonna do squats and get low and then come back up. Remember, it's like sitting in a chair. Pretend there's an invisible chair behind you. If you need help, you can always bring a chair over and sit down on the chair and then stand back up, okay? Try not to make your knees cross in front of your toes. You wanna to bring your, your tush down straight like you were sitting on a chair. All right, ready? Let's do, let's do 15. Wow, we're working today. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Uh, in squats, the lower you get, the better. Right, guys? So, you know, if you're able to get really low, that's the best possible thing for a squat is to get as low as you can while keeping that form like you were sitting on a chair. So just think you were really you were sitting on a really small chair. Okay, let's go down to the ground. Okay, we're gonna do some sit-ups. So let's get some sit-ups done here. Uh, let's see, let's do, we'll do only 10 today. 10 sit-ups, okay? Try to get them done um, in a row. So you do 10 in a row. Try not to take a break in between. Let's try to get 10 sit-ups all together. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Good. You know, we keep building up those strength in our in our abdominal muscles. So we're gonna keep getting better at push-ups and I mean and, and, and sit-ups. Right? So one more sit-up exercise is gonna be planks. So for planks, Remember, we just did in uh, our last video, or maybe two videos ago, our forearm push-ups. We were down on our forearms, and then we stood up onto our hands, and that kind of gave us some strength in our triceps, which are the back muscles of our arms, and our shoulders. So it would help us with push-ups. Um, kind of like a little bit of a modified push-up or a different push-up that's a little easier than a push-up, but helps us get better. Um, or stronger so that we can do a regular push-up. For a plank, we're going to stay in that for, that forearm pose where our tushy's off the ground and we're in a push-up position on our forearms. So it's going to look something like this. Right off the ground. And we're going to stay like this for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I know you guys can do this. Uh, this is a good exercise for our core again, for our stomach muscles and our abdominal muscles, okay? So let's get ready. And let's get going. Everybody up. And let's hold that position, okay? We're going to hold this position 30 seconds. Keep going. Make sure you're breathing as you do this, okay? Try to tighten up your core or try to, like, clench your stomach muscles when you do this. It'll help you a little bit. Let's go. We got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Nice job, guys. That's two workouts for our abdominal muscles, our core, sit ups, and planks. And we did squats. We're off to a great start. Um, let's get into push ups or shoulder touches. Remember, we all, I always like to do these. Uh, Gym class is usually always spaced out so that it allows us to recover. Um, if you ever feel sore, and that means like there's a little pain in maybe your shoulders or your arms because of doing push-ups or when you go to do push-ups, take a break and don't do them. But let's get it going today, okay? So if you really need to do a modified push-up, I, I want you to do shoulder touches, okay? So shoulder touches, remember, 
when you're in a push-up position and you're touching your shoulders and changing it, changing each shoulder. So if you're going to do that, I want you to do 20. So count to 20. If you're going to do push-ups, let's try to get 10 of them in a row, okay? Um, actually, if you can get 10, get 10. If you can't, let's do five. We'll take a break and we'll do another five. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Take a break. If you're doing shoulder touches, touches, keep trying to do it. Keep trying to do it. Okay, keep that up. If you keep doing shoulder touches and if you are at 20, keep doing more because that will build up the strength again in your tricep and your shoulder, and also some chest muscles so that you'll be able to do push-ups. Let's finish up with our next five push-ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. And relax. Nice job, everybody. Good. So we did our dynamic stretches. We did our strength training. Now we're going to do our um, static stretches. So static kind of means that we're still and we're gonna stretch now for recovery so that our muscles uh, can recover and heal and get stronger. So legs out straight, feet together, toes up in the air, reach out, touch your toes. We're gonna hold this for a count of 12. So if you're at home, count with me. Might be a, little, a good opportunity to uh, refresh your memory and learn counting. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and relax. Good. What I want you to do now is this is going to be a stretch for our hip, right? Our hip is over on our sides, kind of where our pants go up to. Our hip is on both sides, so we have a hip on both sides of our body. I want you to take your leg and put it behind you. So one leg is out straight, one leg is to the side and behind you. And you're just going to sit back, try to keep your leg straight. You're going to hold that position for 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. So you should feel that in your hip and maybe in the lower part of your back. Let's switch legs now. Other leg goes back, other foot forward, and let's lean back and lay down. Count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten and relax. Good. Okay. Next stretch, we're going to stand up and we're going to do some shoulder stretches before we end the day. Good. So stretch our shoulders because we did our push-ups. So now we want to stretch our shoulder muscles and make sure they recover and get stronger. Take your one arm, could be your doesn't matter which arm. I'm going to use my right and I'm going to go across my body. My left hand's going to come up on the outside, right? And I'm going to hug my right arm close to my body. Count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I'm going to change. Other arm goes across. Other, other arm comes up and hugs that close to my body. So it looks like this, right? So I'm hugging it with my arm, bringing it close. Should feel the stretch up in your shoulder right up here. Count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. Now we're going to reach back. Last stretch of the day, last static stretch. Pretend you're wearing a backpack, okay? And, you, and you're reaching to get something out of your backpack. So you take your hand and put it behind your head like you're reaching to get something from your backpack. Now take your other hand. Put it up and try to push down your elbow like you're really trying to reach for something at the bottom of the backpack and hold that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to change arms. Take your other hand, the one that you didn't use, to reach back. Reach back like you're trying to get something out of your backpack. Pretend you can't reach it. So you need help from your other hand to push it down and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent job, everybody. Another great workout done. 
guys keep making me proud. I'm going to go and take some dance lessons now. So maybe in the near future, some of these videos, we're going to be back to jamming again. So if you're, you know, even if there's no music, I'm always jamming. I'm always dancing. See you guys.